Hey YouTube, it's Bammy Love 8 and um, this is my coming clean video. Um, I'm doing this video because I've been feeling guilty. I have totally slipped off the wagon. Um, I had told you guys before how I wasn't working out religiously as I was, once was because of my 12 hour shift. And um, But that wasn't the whole truth. Not only have I not been working out, but I literally slipped back into a lot of old eating habits. I have been drinking sodas. Um, some of them consisted of diet, but some of them weren't. Um, I've had cake, I've had brownies, cupcakes. Um, I actually just got back from Atlanta for a little spontaneous mini vacay. Um, we went to, among other places, the World of Coke, and I did sample all 70 flavors. <laughs> Um, to be honest, I regret it a little bit, but not really because I've never been and that was quite an experience. So I did consume a lot of uh, carbonation uh, throughout those few days. Um, but yeah, that's, that's basically been it. Um, it all came to a standstill when I went to my surgeon and again and realized that I had gained uh, a pound and um was not happy with that and uh no it was a half a pound excuse me um nothing to exactly you know pull the alarm for most people but to be on a steady loss and to actually have a gain uh was really a difficult pill for me to swallow um but needless to say it was what i needed to open my eyes uh, as a what I'm doing, how this is the last uh, point, you know, a last chance basically for me to take control of my life. And uh, I'm happy to say to you today that I feel that I am going in the right direction. I just got back from the gym, hence the attire. And um, I feel good. Actually, I feel very sore. But I feel good too that I've been going. Um, my solution for the 12 hour shifts as far as working out was just to get up really early in the morning um, my grandmother keeps my son and that's 12 hours with a three-year-old and I just kind of feel guilty asking her to keep him even longer to go to the gym after I get off work so and not to mention when I work out I get a little energized so I'm not gonna be able to just lay down and go to sleep so it's best for me to start my day off that way so I'm going to actually begin working out from home again uh, not too long, you know, just for like a a quick 30 minute brisk workout. And on my days off is when I'm going to take it home and just really get my usual hour to an hour and a half in um, workouts. And hopefully I'll begin my results again. I've also upped my protein a lot. Um, I was looking at a Bandit Wendy video and she was talking about how people won't binge on protein and she's right. Um, I have noticed that the more protein I've eaten, that's when I've lost the most weight. Um, so I really need to up my protein because I've totally slacked on that. I need to start taking my vitamins again. I know I have been so bad, y'all. I have not even been taking my vitamins at all for like a month straight. And I feel the difference. Like I felt a little lightheaded and everything. Uh, so I got to get back on that. Also, what else? Oh, and of course my water. I used to drink two to three uh, liters of water a day. I was doing good if I got a one liter in. So I definitely got to get my water back in. But I'm proud to say that the shame veil has gone away. I am definitely working out again. And not to mention, you guys, my 5K is September 8th. That's next Saturday. I got to bust ass and quit. So that's what's going on i'm very excited very very nervous i still don't know why the hell i said i was going to do this but it will be done there is no ifs ands or buts about it i will be completing that race whether it's at the ass end or not i'm walking across that finish line so um that's it that's me coming clean and uh and i just need you know, wanted that accountability again and um, for all those that 
are still pressing strong. Congratulations. Good for you. And for those who are having a moment like me, you're not alone. But uh, we'll make it through. And that's really all I had to say, guys. And I will talk to you uh, later. Probably after my race. I, no, I'll, I'll make a video the day of the race, before and after. There'll probably be two parts. And then um, reflections on that as well. But uh, I will talk to you guys later. Bye.